Technology and replay review is now a major part of sports in the professional and collegiate levels. Zan Piarly joins us with the details of something new on the IU soccer field. Now, what message do you want to send to students that are going to be right here in this student section? They take their two stars, one of whom is smaller than me, into a series against the arch enemy Yankees and their two sluggers. After two years in the NBA and over three decades of covering IU basketball, John's basketball career is now behind him. But he's back in Bloomington. Tyra Buss and Amanda Cahill played together for four straight years and had the team running itself like a Fortune 500 company. John Laskowski was a basketball player. The fan favorite earned the nickname Super Sub for his tough and scrappy play at IU in the early 70s. He spent four years under coach Bob Knight inside Assembly Hall. His resume includes a Final Four appearance and gracing the cover of Sports Illustrated. In short, he made a name for himself as a basketball player. You know, he had a special place in people's hearts because uh, they, they loved having the six man come in and when he was successful, that made it even more fun. After two years in the NBA and over three decades of covering IU basketball, John's basketball career is now behind him. But he's back in Bloomington to pursue another venture of his, owning a restaurant. An IU business school graduate, John was hesitant at first at the thought of his now current gig as regional owner of the Bloomington Culvers. The guy says, hey, he said, have you ever thought of getting in the restaurant business? And I said, no way. Everybody I know loses their butt in the restaurant business. I would never do that. But the more he looked into it, the more the idea grew on him. And after reflecting on his playing days under Coach Bob Knight, he's excited to take on a new challenge. Culver's is different, he said. They have an operations manual, and you follow what's in that manual. It tells you everything you have to do to be successful. And I said, I played for a college coach who told me everything I had to do, and it worked out great for me. And so I uh, got started, and now in Bloomington, we're going to open here um, in October sometime. Though the restaurant is finishing up its construction, John says once it opens, he hopes to be in the store almost every day to greet the customers that got to know him while he was making a name for himself on the basketball court. What kind of changes or, or you know, atmospheric experiences did you implement last year, did the SAB implement last year that you want to see replicated this year? Yeah, I mean, what I, what I thought the best thing was is that the SAB as a group um, kind of took control of it and their, their energy and their spirit is really what pushed it. They're, they're really awesome, uh, awesome students. They care about Indiana a ton. Um, I think anything that they need from me uh, support wise we're going to do. Uh, but I think they're really excited about the new year and, and the new building. Now, I don't want you to spill any secrets, mm -hmm. but when this building opened, you tweeted at the SAB Twitter account that you had some ideas for the new place. Correct. Can you tease us a little bit or give us a little bit of insight about what you had there? What can we expect? No. Just no. Got to find out? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think, find out? Yeah, I think uh, the answer is uh, we have an opening match in August. I think uh, when you show up in August and the crew shows up in August, everyone will know. But like, you know, like every good artist, man, you got to, you know, Prince didn't drop albums before he was ready to drop albums. We got to be patient. Good tease. It's a good tease. <laughs> okay. Um, what kind of atmosphere in terms of the toughest ones in the country? Do you anticipate this being a couple of years down the road? Yeah, well, the number one thing is we got to get better as a team. I think that's the obvious thing. People want to support teams that win, so we got to work really hard to get better at volleyball. Uh, but then uh, the rest of it, I think it comes back to the passion and energy from the community, from the school, from the student section. The more we push them, the more we uh, give them stuff, resources, time, energy, I think the better it's going to be. Now, what message do you want to send to students that are going to be right here in this student section? Come on. Well, first and foremost, I think we got about, you know, five, six hundred seats on this side. So that's going to be the starting point for what we're trying to do. Um, you know, I think we've got a good idea in terms of uh, what we're going to equip them with in the stands. Uh, we're going to have tailgates and stuff beforehand that obviously we'll get into later about what we're doing. Uh, there'll be a DJ mounted up in there. That's a pretty important part of what I'm trying to do. Um, and then and then lots of wrinkles as we go. But basically, it's, it's a hop, skip, and a jump for students here. It's right by Assembly Hall. Easy for people to get to. Um, really good sight lines. Uh, we'll have tons of food, tons of energy, great music. Um, and then the traditional start to build. You know, I think last year was kind of the appetizer, trying to teach people what we wanted. And it's just going to grow and grow and grow uh, and get better as, as hopefully the program gets better and the kids uh, have more fun showing up. Coach, thanks a lot. All right, man. Thanks. First possession of the second half, Brissett with another long hookup. This one to Chester Rogers, weaves through two defenders, 61-yard touchdown, his first in the NFL. Colts on top, 17-3. Dance it off, young man. But critical mistake right here. 
Ball goes right through Jack Doyle's hands, and Ryan Shazier says thank you right at the Colts' 10-yard line. Second half, Deron Davis putting in some work down low. That is a man going to work down there. He leads IU 17 points on the night. Archie Miller gets his first win with the Hoosiers, 86-77. Carson Edwards, look at this pretty crossover. Ooh, beautiful. Leads the way with 25 on the night. Right before the half, Nogel Eastern gets the rebound and beats the horn. Boilers up by 31 points at the break.